get the finish and the finals done as we watch Joanne picking up this corner on the left. Again, looking for a 4.18 in order to take the lead. On her way right here, another big snap. So Joanne finishing strong as she always does, so consistent in her approach and finishing with probably the best turn of the wave. Yeah, I'd have to say that that was one of the better rides for me in this heat. We'll get another look at it. Well, Tatiana has the best wave, a 5.5. So if uh, Joanne were to suppress, surpass that, momentum would definitely shift to her, especially in the back half of this heat. Well, this is interesting. I mean, Joanne, without priority, finds this left corner. It does take a little while for her to get going on this wave. She finds that open face, that's where the spray comes in, and then the second hook tight in the pocket just to round out that wave. I like it. So do I. Comes in at a 6.5, so she takes the lead back from Tatiana Western Webb, but here's her answer. Tatiana up and riding. Nice first turn, two cutbacks. That one getting a little loose. This wave's going to steepen up on the inside. Another snap, dealing with some foam, but she's getting the maneuvers done. Another cutback. Rebounds the whitewash. Is this wave still delivering a bit of wall? She's going to hit that shore bake last move, but goes down. I love it when surfers kick it into that next gear, and when you see them riding a wave, they've got that extra added bit of aggression. I mean, even on that second turn from Tatiana Western Wave, you can see her just stomping on the tail. I love that, that they just kind of start building throughout the event and give a little extra every round that they go through. Well, I think it kind of comes from, you know, watching waves of your, of your competitors. We watch the replay here. Yeah, this is that slicing first turn. Great technique from Tatiana Western Webb. And then here we go. That's where she just stomps the tail there to really just... And that third turn was so super impressive. That was maybe the most critical turn of this whole wave. But still, when you can turn those carving maneuvers into something that has that extra bit of radicalness to it unfortunately not finishing that one off but it's just that extra bit of effort on a wave that could have potentially been a four you can turn it into a five six point ride so tatiana looking for a 5.01 to take back the lead so a nice exchange here from joanne as we look at tyler wright seven minutes and 50 seconds making her way down to the ocean edge where she'll paddle out you know, I think one of the things that kind of happens here, too, is that, you know, all of a sudden, that camera is in your grill. 